hey everyone welcome back to another thrilling video so i have already reviewed few custom roms for nexus 5 but i'm genuinely excited because the one we are looking at today is hands down one of the finest i have come across for the nexus 5 so buckle up because we are about to uncover exactly why this rom stands out as the cream of the crop so the rom is booted up today we have sea droid rom based on android 11 i'm going to review a few more roms on android 12 and 13 but i don't think i will get one of the best like this one actually so as you can see here it's running on android 11 and the sea droid version is 7.3.9 and the secret departure level is 5th of february 2024 so this is a pretty much recent build for nexus 5 other than that there is nothing new here I'm a really big fan of Sea Droid ROM. They always include almost all the features and the ROMs are, seems to be very good in most of the time. So in this case also, this ROM is really good for this device. So first of all, as you can see here, we have network and internet section and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data. Everything is working just fine. I haven't faced any kind of issue using these things actually. And we do have NFC and NFC does work. So if you have connection preference, NFC, we can turn it on. And as you can see, NFC is on. So if you use NFC, NFC is working. And also quick share does work here. No issue with quick share too. And going back, we have few other things. If you go to display section, we do have dark mode. So if you turn it on, uh, it will be pure dark. And as you can see here, so you can like, choose deep red charcoal black or whatever you like usually i use like amulet black it does look good even in ips display also so for the sake of video i will put it in like light mode and in the display section we do have like styles and wallpaper so if you want to change like grid and also few things like clock and other things those are the bible here going back we have rotation setting so you can like change the rotation setting so as you can see we have 128 degrees too so if you want that you can turn it on too and wake up on plug we have unable blurs like few other things here and there and if you go to lock screen section we have the notification on lock screen swipe lock screen and media art and few other things so all those things are available on most almost all the roms so going back we have sound section and everything is working perfectly fine no issue with the sound as you can see here the storage section we do have like about 12 gb available and i did install few application so it's pretty good actually for this kind of device uh, with 16 gig of storage still you are getting about 12 gig of free internal storage after installing android 11 and also g apps so that's quite cool going to the privacy section that's all the typical settings are there and location setting location does work perfectly fine no issue google account this rom did not come with gfs i have to install it separately and after installing it it's working perfectly fine no issue with gfs so i have already logged in my account and going to the accessibility there are a few other things a dark theme and also remove animation so i have already removed the animation it feels a little bit smoother and also feel a little bit fast so that's why i just turn off animation there are like customization setting for Sea Droid ROM. You can see Sea Droid settings and you can tweak whatever you like. All those things are the Bible. Few things missing like uh, we are not getting any kind of double tap to uh, work feature. And also um, unlimited backup for Google Photos. It's also not available on this ROM. Uh, it would be great if they included this, that feature too. But it's not available in this ROM. Going to the system setting there are a few other things and also this one did come with full screen gesture support so if you go to see your droid setting you will find that actually so if you go navigation you will find all the setting here so i do like full screen gesture on this kind of device because this display is very small so if you have full screen gesture you will get a little bit user display so that's cool going to other setting like the battery battery is doing pretty well on this rom it is not really better than the stock rom last roms did pretty well in the battery section but this rom is doing a little bit worse than those rom but it is pretty good actually 
and also you can turn on fast charging if you want so those things are available rather than that there is nothing much going on going back uh, as i said this norm did not come with any kind of gf so i have installed gfs and just install the play store and if you don't know how to install gfs on this device in my last video i have already demonstrated how you can install gfs and rom so if you don't know how to install you can check out that video too so in this rom i have already installed gcam directly from play store so this rom did come with a camera application which is snapdragon camera it does work perfectly fine but yes we don't have any kind of like hdr support or anything like that the processing of gcam is better than that snapdragon camera and it does work perfectly fine so as you can see we do have all the functions as we get with the stock rom so all the camera settings everything is working perfectly fine now the most exciting thing of this rom actually is that it does come with safety net features so safety net is pass and i can use bank apps on this rom usually it will be really hard to find a rom which uh, works with bank application for this kind of devices older devices but in this case this rom is working flawlessly so as you can see i have installed a bank application here and it is working perfectly fine as you can see it is not giving me any kind of uh, like turn off the root permission or anything like that if i get start so it is asking me to put my sim card to activate so pretty good actually for this kind of device so if you have nexus 5 and if you use bank application if you are looking for a custom rom i think this one is the best one to go with and rather than that there is one thing i did not mention is that this rom did come with a face unlock feature and face unlock does work perfectly fine a little bit slow but no issue so i have already as you can see here already enrolled the face unlock and let me show you so why as you can see here it did work perfectly fine so face unlock is working perfectly fine a little bit slow but works perfectly fine so this rom is having everything you need for this device actually running on android 11 you are getting latest security patch and also a bank application working the rom is perfectly working and flawless and it's pretty smooth actually the rom is pretty smooth and the gaming experience is much better than the previous roms i have already reviewed this one is much better rom so if you are looking for one of the best rom for your nexus 5 i think this one is the best one to go with so that's all about see Droid rom for nexus 5 and i will review a few other roms in my future videos but maybe i will stick to this rom after that and the rom link will be in the description below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one